So this is a toy spinner that will spin for a long time on its little bearing. And it has these little LEDs that create persistence of vision patterns and they can have multiple. Now the camera doesn't do a great job of seeing what your eye sees on these persistence of vision but it does give you a good idea of what it might be looking like. So what I want to do is put some of these on the flywheel of this Sterling engine and see if that doesn't look like a nice uh, persistence of vision display. I designed this little bracket to hold the LED pucks and snap this together onto the flywheel. So you can see in the middle here is where the flywheel will go and on the ends, sort of the sides, we have room for two LED pucks. Many of these dimensions have to be extremely precise to actually fit properly on the machine. When this is spinning there's less than a half a millimeter, a lot less than half a millimeter clearance on several areas of, the, of this bracket. The pucks come very close to hitting both the piston and the mounting stanchion for the whole system. The plastic in this bracket is less than one millimeter in many places, which is as thin as I dare to make it given that this is a rotating machine with all kinds of centrifugal stresses. The chamfered lip around the edges of the flywheel clamp make it deceptively thick, but in fact the wall thickness under those chamfered edges is very thin. So you can see on the edges that don't have LEDs there are two dovetail bracket arrangements so that I can put a clamp and a dovetail clamp on here and have it tightly uh, wound around the flywheel. I only need the one with the gap in it for structural purposes but I put the one on the opposite side so that it would balance and I can put a, cl a balancing clamp on both sides and the whole bracket will be perfectly balanced. When I first measured the machine up for this application I thought it would fit quite nicely but I soon realized that it was much tighter than I had anticipated. One of the problems was it's quite hard to get a caliper inside the machine and, and measure accurately given that there's so many things in the way of getting that measurement. So it did take a couple of tries but eventually I got a very nice fit and I'm very happy with the result. So I printed a bracket that will hold two LED modules, little pucks, and it clamps on by just spreading around the device like this. Now it's extremely tight um, to actually get this thing to fit. So here's one with LEDs mounted in it. But it's extremely tight to get it to, to uh, fit and spin without hitting anything because of the size of the the uh, LED modules. So what happens is the piston comes out and it interferes with the LED module. So, but if we get this to be exactly the right position, we can get it to just clear, just clear with a few microns to spare and try and clamp that in position here. With my little clamp. So let's just see if that clears. Both. And it also has to clear the edge of the stanchion. Down here there's other interference which I had to uh, adjust the, the print job to make that work. So I'm going to turn this on just to see if it will spin. Now it takes a while to warm up but I uh, just want to make sure that nothing is hitting here. So 
so that's looking good um, and I'll turn on the LEDs once it once it can spin so there goes the motor and you get persistence of vision of the LEDs even though they're not even on but if I turn them on they create a pattern now I can turn off the lights a little bit and we'll get a better idea which is pretty neat effect and I can actually put on two of them at the same time and get a slightly more complicated pattern And the LEDs sometimes automatically turn off. But that was pretty cool. It does create a nice effect. But the 3D printing job really required micron precision to get that to actually fit on this particular uh, chassis. However, if you do have one that's identical to this, I will post the uh, the print files and you could make your own and you just go down to a toy store and buy one of these these little LED modules. Even with the, uh, the flame off, it'll still spin for quite a while. So that's my little experiment to see if I can get a persistence of vision system working on a Sterling engine.